What I like to do is show you guys how to find the x and y intercept when given a graph. Now, one really quick thing that I like to remind you of is when dealing with the x and y intercepts. Excuse me. Rami? Take out your work. You can get started on your work. Um, when you're finding the x y intercepts, we need to kind of go back a little bit, a couple years, to remember what are actually, what does our graph look like? So the first thing we have is I'm going to go back to when you guys did these. Number line. Thank you. A number line. And these are pretty basic, weren't they? You just say, hey, two. And you got two, right? It was pretty fun. Now, we're going to call this our x number line. So if I say x equals two, that was when I would graph right there. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. That's a, then, now what we're going to do is, now what we're going to do is we're going to create, now notice at this point that's zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a vertical number line. And this one we're going to call y. y. And notice again, that's one, that's <coughs> two, negative one, negative two. And notice again, that point on the vertical number line is zero as well. So if I go to here, that means y equals negative 1. Pretty basic stuff. All right. Now the important thing you guys need to understand when we're talking about x and y intercepts is when I say x equals 2, what is my y value on what is my value on this y-axis? So at this point, if I was kind of look over here, did I go up or down at all? And the no. answer is no. So therefore my y value is zero. And therefore my x value for here at negative one, I didn't go left or right on this x axis or this x number line, so my x value is equal to zero. So it's a very important point. This is what we call the y intercept. This is what we call the x intercept. And you notice that at the x intercept, your y is equal to zero. And at the y intercept, your x is equal to zero. So now, if I was even going to give you a problem, and like I said, I'm just going to sketch something here. You usually have an x and y axis. I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I say, how to find the x and y intercept? Well, the y intercept is where it crosses the y axis. So it's that point right there. And you say, all right, well, y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So y equals 5, and x equals 0. Over here, the x intercept is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So x equals negative 6. And my y equals zero. So you can either write the x-intercept is at x equals negative six, or a lot of times we write, like to write the point. And remember, all points are written in the form of x comma y. So all you do is you write what x equals first, and then you write what y equals. So x equals negative six for here. So it would be negative six, zero. Over here, my y-axis, or my y-intercept, is going to be zero comma five. <coughs> okay. Just remember the main important thing is when your y intercepts x equals zero because you're not moving left or right at all. You're just moving up to your five. And for your x intercept, your y is equal to zero. So the main important thing. Yes. Could you do like? Could you show me how to do like um, like one of our warm up problems, like the x plus two y equals eight? Yeah. Yep. I'll do one of those videos in just a second. I just wanted to continue this. So that's how you find the x and y intercept while using the graph.